What would you do if you had 50 weeks to become a pro footballer? For some, it may seem an impossible challenge, a distant dream. But for Jacques Etia, this year marks the beginning of a daring mission to achieve what seems impossible. Meet Jacques Etia, a young talent with a burning passion for the beautiful game. With a relentless fire in his heart and a dream that refuses to be ignored, Jacques sets his sights on the elusive realm of professional football. Week after week, Jacques pours his heart and soul into sharpening his skills, dedicating himself to every challenge of the game. Join us as we witness Jacques Etier's extraordinary journey, a quest fueled by passion, powered by resilience, and destined for greatness. In 50 Weeks to Pro, brace yourself for a roller coaster of emotions as we follow Jacques on his path to achieving the unimaginable. With steely determination, he crafts a meticulous plan, mapping out his journey across 50 weeks. This isn't just about talent, it's about unwavering commitment, sacrifice, and the pursuit of excellence. I feel like I'm closer to that dream, that vision, that goal, and, and I feel like I have to work even extra hard, because obviously I've worked hard, people know me as the guy that always work hard, committed, focused, you know, but I feel like I need to do a bit more now, extra, so... No excuse. Jax, obviously, following on from your previous season, um, I know the campaign wasn't the best. What lessons have you taken away from last season? Last season, as a young player, obviously, I was at Ashton United. I went on loan to Gloucester North End and it was a different experience. I'm quite new to knowing league football, trying to understand the steps of football. A few months down the line, performed quite well, scored goals, assist loved it. it like it was a learning curve for me and going back to get relegated it was heartbreaking i've never been in that position before i took that opportunity to reflect on my life to reflect on everything that i've worked for and for me to make sure i don't go through that phase again the work starts now it's pre-season as a striker there's been chances that i've missed so i'm thinking to myself what if i score that header what if i cross the quicker we needed about three points to six points just to be out of relegation. So for me, it's like every game is important. Every chance is important. A lot of the followers, of your followers at home will know about the All or Nothing series and season at Glossop North End. Coming into this new series, what do you hope to show the fans and the supporters with my fans, I've got a platform, so I don't want to take it for granted. I want to show them the real me. There has been times where I haven't really showed them everything, what I do. You know, I have had this attitude of always waking up very early, putting the work in before going to school around 5 a.m., 6 a.m., or work or whatever I was doing. So this year, I want to give them something different in, in terms of like my diet, my training routines, just it's just exciting. I've got a lot that I want to speak, but I just, when I think about it, the emotions as well. You know, I want to show them what goes behind non league football. Look, if you spend time dedicating on something that you truly love, putting certain things in place to achieve that goal, it is possible, you know. So, this one is more of like a journey. I want them to be like, look, if he can do it, I can do it. There's no excuse here, you know. And with this new journey, with this new series, how important will it be for you personally? Oh, tough question that. How important would that be for me? In what way? In terms of success, you know, what, what, what are your key takeaways from this next season? What do you want to achieve? This next season, to be truthful, is to build an audience that truly support me that truly value my content. Um, I want to create something that's different on YouTube. And with my content, I take a lot of time, pride. It's not just my content, in everything that I do, my training, the people I meet or whatever, I take pride and grateful to be in a position that, look, this is what I'm doing. So, I've always thought about this, like, what if football did not work? I've always wanted to be an actor believe it or not. I was sat one day at home listening to Boxing Alone and there was this track where it's like something something but now I'm just sat there looking at myself big screen you're like yo that vibe that energy like yeah I like that 
So I thought, you know what? Bugsy Melon, be inspired. For me, I also want to inspire people, you know. So it's actually just exciting. I just want to create something that's valuable, a community that's all about supporting each other, you know, like coming together. That's all about positive. And I feel like if I'm higher up the league, the audience always comes up. Obviously, the journey for me being young and so on, accomplishing smaller goals to become a better person, a better athlete over the years, is something powerful. So I want to sit back down, hopefully if I'm still alive, in my 50s, 60s, I'm like, look at what I've just done. You can also do it. Yeah. And you know, in terms of YouTube, how important do you think YouTube actually is for you? has been in your development and your success wow youtube listen to me right now has changed my life in so many ways all right positive and negative firstly let's go with the positive it has allowed me to express myself more freely you know when i first started my first youtube channel my first video three years down the line it was never successful and no one knew about this and after the blows everything just started opening up for me I've took more time, more care. It has allowed me to speak calmly so people could hear me. English is not my first language. So YouTube has allowed me to be able to speak properly, slowly, in a well manner. It has allowed me to create valuable content that inspire, motivate and teach people. It has allowed me to become an editor because I'm the one that edits all my videos. It has, it has allowed me to become a videographer but not only that, I've got my side hustle where I charge people sometimes even £700 just for a video. It has also allowed me to connect with the people, with the audience that share the same value as me. And it's only getting better. There's been time where brands are coming to me, wanting to work with me, promoting the service. But because that's not me, I don't want to be selling anything to my fans like that. I want to stop that and focus just mainly on the value of what I truly believe and it has actually made me think look why don't you also create your own brand where would that be for me when it comes to branding as well I'm not a big fan of brands I don't like wearing big flashy things designer things I'm always my, my t-shirt Primark four pound the value on this I look clean sm well in my opinion clean representable happy confident and it also allowed me to manage my money better as well youtube has changed my life in so many ways i just don't know how to express it right now but i want people to understand i'm not just a youtuber i'm not even a youtuber i am just a normal human being with a vision with a goal but youtube is the platform where i can express that you know it's it sounds great you you speaking about this and i just wanted to just touch on you know back on football a little bit you know yes. we, you, you did you know touch on when you were younger you know what impact of have you had throughout life that has made you feel this way with this level of drive and this level of emotion what what has happened talk us through what's what's going through i don't know where to start obviously I was born in Cameroon and my life there was quite hard, you know. I had a wealthy family, but knowing how Africa is, it was actually hard for me as a young person because I've never really stayed in a stable home. I was always moving houses after houses, school after school. So sometimes when I moved to a different city, I'm just getting myself comfortable, meeting new people, new friends. From there, I would move away to a different city, different environment. So I was forced to grow up quick. I was forced to adapt really quick. And there's certain things I cannot really tell just yet. So with what I've been through, it has motivated me to like also inspire people, making sure that what I've been through, that does not happen to anyone else. I want to create something that's different. And fast the line, me being here in the UK, there was this one time at university, they gave me a scholarship and I'm studying sports science. I had kind of like posed it anyways. And we were sat there at a table, a group of students on the same journey as me that got released from professional clubs and so on, 
or whatever and each person had to introduce themselves and something interesting about themselves you know when it came to martin i've said i want to inspire the whole world i want to help as much people as i can and the manager and some of the staff and the players around me like the whole world Chanel Jacks. sorry for my language but that's what they said they all start laughing and then when i looked at them all laughing i'm like okay that also motivated me i went yeah the entire world and when i create my content on youtube and so on even if i can help one person i'm happy so now imagine if i can do that and that person also help another person it's the effect and i'm on that journey right now and the funny thing is when i've said that i want to inspire and help as much people as i can they all laughed at me now those are the same people coming back to me asking for my advice on our fitness or training or life you know it's like yeah you were laughing at me but i look at you but i don't look at that i don't mention that I'm like people don't know they don't understand so i don't know if i went off topic here but uh, it sounds it sounds great bro honestly um you know for me, I just wanted to ask you another question. What's the limit? Mindset. Mindset is something that I truly believe in. Do you know why? If you tell yourself negative things all the time, it will affect you. But not that it will affect you mentally, it will also affect you. What you do, how you speak to people, the energy, the emotions, everything, it, it literally just destroys you. It's like a poison once you start putting negative things. So there's no limit here. The only limitation is your mind. It's what you tell yourself, it's what you do that will stop you. For me, I try to look after my mind a lot. And by just reading books, eating right, sleeping, getting enough sleep, you know, there's no limit. It's the, the only limit is yourself, honestly. People say the sky is the limit. No, the sky is not the limit. There's a space out there, the black hole, there's whatever. <laughs> the Milky Way. The Milky Way. <laughs> there's no limit. The only limitation is yourself. It's your mindset, literally. And like I can actually remember when I was, again, young. There was this one time, people don't believe it, because I used to be a farmer. I used to wake up around 5 a.m., going to farm, cut things before going to school. And there's this one time when I was cutting things in the farm, I cut my toe, my big toe is slightly like, full and open, like, yo. I froze in that moment, I started screaming, my dad was there. Long story short, I went home, after a week of just me chilling at home. My mom sent me some fresh crepe from England, I was very excited, I went, I'm taking it to school. So, for me to get to school, I had to walk sometimes even 40 minutes. And with that injury, it made it worse, but I was so determined, dedicated that I want to get to school no matter what and flash out my new crepes that my mom sent me from England. I was like, yo, okay. So, woke up in the morning, one foot at a time and so on. I got there to school. But when I got there and I took off my shoe, blood everywhere, like pain. On, the, on, the, new, on the new shoes? On the new shoe. There was blood, everything, because my toe was slight up. And obviously medication, like, I didn't really treat it properly, obviously, you know. So, it showed me that day that look, pain is only temporarily. Everything is to do with your mindset. Because I was so focused, so dedicated to achieving that goal to go to school, rematch new shoes. And yeah, you see, if you have an end goal, everything becomes easier. And I feel like the end goal was to go into school and be proud to show off what my mom sent me from England. I was just, because I grew up without my mom. So, it was a lot of emotions. I thought nothing would stop me, and I just did that. Well, Jax, yeah, we do see that from your your personality, your character. Um, so that's obviously a very huge credit to yourself. And I know the people at home watching this, whether they're a new supporter or uh, already a Jax Atia fan, a supporter like I am, you know, they they you know, I think they will be able to um, have the same feeling as I do as well. So, um, Jax, just you know, speaking on football, yeah. Where else do you think you can go? You know, in, 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 in the football game, in the professional world. Do you think there's a limit for someone like you coming through the non league system? Or do you think no? Again, like I've said, there's no limit. Looking back now here, 
my main goal is to inspire and motivate people and I feel like with football I can reach a wider, a wider audience and I'm starting to feel like do I seriously want to be a footballer? Obviously, yes, I love to play football. Yes, I love to take on people and score goals. I just love it. The emotions, everything. I love it, but with football, sometimes, even though their goal is to become a pro footballer, it's okay if I don't make that stage. But as long as I know I've tried my best, put everything that I could to achieve that goal, I will be happy, you know? But I'm always, always looking ahead into the future, like, even if I finish football, what else can I do? But that's something maybe I will have to find out when I get there. But right now, I'm just living in the moment, focus on the moment, and just adapt quickly. You see, with my content, I like to change your thing, like that, adapt really quick. So, there's no limit here. Is there any other content, types of content you're looking to put out, you know, going forward as well? Is there any sneak peeks you wanna, you wanna show people? Anything you wanna, you know, mm get out there hmm, hmm, hmm. interesting one do you know why like I've said multiple times I wanted to become a Hollywood actor and so on so I thought why don't I create my own films and there's this film that I want to bring called probably refugee boy and it's about my mom my family you know how moms can be so powerful how a family can also be powerful that anything the past can sometimes be what make the future so i'm basically trying to make a film about myself my family and yeah it's it's a lot of work to make a film yet alone filming a youtube video and editing is something else now imagine a film so maybe when i'm old enough I have enough funding or enough support then I will make this reality come through but right now I'm focusing on achieving what I've set myself to right now is to reach that professional level for the time being and with the YouTube channel you know the traction is there where do you want to be at the end of next season in terms of viewer wise follower wise subscribers where do you want to be? Listen, it's up to my viewer. Everything's up to the people watching this. You know, if you feel like we share some sort of connection or I give enough value to you, then be a part of this journey. Ideally, for me, I've set myself this goal and I want to achieve that goal within time. With, by the end of this year, ideally, going to next year, that I am at a professional club. You know that I have my name on the contract, Jacques Citra, professional footballer, and hopefully maybe get like ten thousand subscribers as well. Maybe I don't know. Like just every day, one subscriber. I'm happy. I'm happy with the current fans. But if I can get ten thousand subscribers by the end of this year, I will be happy. So if you are new to my channel and you're watching this, you think I'm giving you enough value and you love my story and you want to be part of this journey subscribe down below all right it's free honestly the content is for you all right anyways back into this <laughs> well yeah that's um yeah guys subscribe you know he works very hard for you guys um to give you that value um so definitely subscribe at home Jax, you know let's 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 finish it off with a with a great a great few questions now you know from myself to you you know i know you've been giving some fantastic answers already for the people at home you know we talked you talked about skills how important is it to learn a skill in this day and age listen if you're in your 20s like i am skill is so important now going back again to youtube I had no clue how to run a YouTube because I have to write scripts sometimes, I have to edit videos, thumbnails, um, basically a lot of marketing as well. So I've learned those skills that now, sometimes when I'm just chilling at home, instead of me watching TV, my skill, use it by making extra money, passive income. So what I can say is that skill is very important. If you're truly good at something, take time. 
people don't understand. So. And that's that's a that's a really good uh, good piece of advice for for especially the young your young supporters as well at home. You know, yeah, I think young people need to take that on board, especially in this day and age where there's a lot of influence culture. Yeah. So other people's negative thoughts, negative doings are influencing younger people. But Jax, just one more message. Well, one more question. What message do you have for young people? For the young people watching this, there's no limitation. Only you can limit yourself. All right? What you say to yourself day in and day out is what you'll become. You know? And you also have to understand to achieve a bigger goal a dream or whatever you have it requires smaller steps those smaller steps being done for a long period of time will achieve that goal all right so have pride stay disciplined in what you truly do and you love doing and never be afraid to set yourself bigger target thing that scares you like me join this club it scares me a bit and it also motivates me there's a lot of mixed emotions I'm just happy that this is just another chapter in my life that I've been able to act well start and just looking forward to put in the extra work. Yeah, like that's the message, you know. Just if you're young, especially in your 20s, have a skill, learn a skill, invest in yourself, invest in your time. I'm sorry, yeah, but video games that you got spent. These people you're just wasting your time imagine what you could be doing with your time because time is the most invaluable things ever so important people don't understand how important time is but before you know it you'll be sat at home or you'll be sat on your deathbed thinking did i do enough because don't don't get me wrong i could die in any moment all right i like to be realistic as well and real to myself and accept life you know but i will be gone so what value do i leave behind so any young person out there believe in yourself have confidence don't set yourself any limitation the only limitation is you yourself your actions your mind and most importantly so just look after your mind and just never be afraid to be yourself That's it. well guys i've been mark adiel he's jack etier and you've been watching the jack etier youtube channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell down below to keep you updated for when he posts his next video see you in the next one Yes. This next series is going to be exciting. Also, on top of that, I am doing a new series, probably going to be called The Football Files, to find people like myself, their journey, and film. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Anyways, go on then. Talk to me about your proudest moment. Wait, is this happy? Is that way? Oh, oh my god. Beauty. <laughs> is that it's, uh, it's fine. It's that way. That's it. You're done. Let's go. This guy got me training and then wants to interview me again. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so go on. Tell me about it. Yeah, so go on. So tell me about your proudest moment. The moment we've all been waiting for. Are you ready for this? Okay, go on. Okay, tell us. So, my proudest moment is. So, if you feel like you want to be part of this journey called the Football Files, you have an interesting story to tell to inspire people. Yeah. Hit it down below. Comment, comment down below. Anyways, Mr. Marley. What are you saying? Obviously, Jack is on a journey this year. He's going to document his lifestyle. And his main goal is to get back to the full time league. Do you think he's going to make it? Me knowing Jack, he works super hard. So he deserves it. I'll tell you that for straight. He um, just needs to stay focused on one goal. He, Personally, I feel like he puts a lot on his plate and if he just focuses on that one thing, he'll definitely do it. Jack's on a mission to become a pro footballer. Do you think he's going to make it this year? Hopefully. If he makes good decisions, he might. He might. Yeah? Tell me yeah. about the decisions. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. He's got to get his head right. He's got to be around good people, right people. Got to work hard, train hard, eat right, sleep well, stay away from girls. So what do you think about Jack to team? Jack, he's got a good work ethic, he trains a lot and I just love his work rate bro. A lot of people don't have it and just, that's it man. What do you think of Jack Satia as a person, as a human being? As a human being, he's got a good heart, he's nice to people and he just likes to 
help people get better through football and off the pitch. Do they say anything about him as a person? Yeah, just a lot, man. Just you help a lot of people, bro. In football, just make him better than before, better athlete, everything. Off the pitch and on the pitch, especially on the pitch. He helps a lot of people go through clubs, this, that, and makes him just, just a good athlete, bro. Jax is a good athlete. <laughs> Do you think Jax Etia will make it to the professional games? He's got the quality, and if it comes his way, I think he'll take it. 100%. I think he's got a work ethic and everything. He's got everything. Anyways, that's literally it. We're over and out. Alright, I will see you on the next one.